Good morning, you have your baby? What's your baby's name, Lyndall? Oh, that's so sweet. Oopsie, that's not good. Did Eloise give you a unicorn? Did she give you a unicorn, Blinky? That was so nice. Yeah, it's a unicorn. Unicorn. You want that up there? Oh, no. Oh, you want some milk? Okay, let me get you some. <laughs> so Brad has the twins. Oh, despite how well the night went, it doesn't look like it in this situation. And I even got up and showered this morning. I didn't wash my hair though, it's probably time. So Brad has the twins at my parents' house. Uh, he ran down there because I need some compression socks. And we had to take Rusty down because they're doing some more work on the house. And I call it daycare, Rusty had to go to Mama and Bumpa's house <laughs> so he doesn't freak out with the construction people. Poor guy, he's just, he's really protective I think. So Brad has them down there and I'm working on the gender reveal vlog. So this is in the future right now. So if you are watching this, then the gender reveal vlog obviously is live. So you can check that out. And the birth vlog. Um, we worked really hard on these things. So I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, I think they're uh, something that we are going to absolutely cherish looking back on. So there's, there's something special about this little girl. I don't know how to explain it. They, I mean, there was something special about her from the beginning because she just kind of came flying into our lives unexpected. Uh, but she is worth every second of a miserable pregnancy and delivery. <laughs> I know everyone says that, but it's so true. She is something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get back to editing here and then I'm just really glad like Brad took this whole week off I'm really glad we have a whole week to bond as a family and Just like help the kids transition and I don't know like I have to take Eloise to her doctor's appointment tomorrow So Brad will stay with the twins and I'll take her and it just is making life easier Quick kidney update. I think we told you guys when we were in the hospital that like all they've done so far is one ultrasound after she was born and that showed just still marked hydronephrosis like it was it was even more shocking on that ultrasound than it was in utero to me so we our next step is to go up to Columbia and meet with the specialist and have a repeat ultrasound done on her kitty to see if it's any better or worse in the first week of being outside on this side of the womb so um, that's just our next step. We don't really know anything until then. So we really have no more information than we did the entire pregnancy this, at this point. So we'll keep you posted obviously. And I'm trying to make that appointment this week sometime so that Brad can go. But it's, I, I mean, it's an extremely specialized doctor that we're seeing. So we'll probably just have to go whenever it works out for her schedule. So. We'll see, but I tr I'm just trying not to think about it. It doesn't seem to be bothering her at all. She's not like in pain and um, I don't know. I'm just trying not to worry about it until it's something to worry about. Easier said than done. And I feel like all the vlogs have been me sitting in this chair briefing you. <laughs> so uh, we'll get some cute kid footage in here soon. Thank you. Oh, whoa, that was a close one. Oh, let's not push those. Don't push those buttons. Is that your purse? Who got you that purse? Mommy. What? Mommy got that for you? Was it Lala? Did Lala get you that purse? Nope. Nope? <laughs> Mommy, boy. A mommy's purse. That's so pretty. Lindo's purse. Bear Does Bear have a purse? That's right, that's Lindo's purse. Hey, can you shut the lights off on the golf cart, please? Hey, Boo Bear. Are the lights on on the golf cart? Uh-oh. Do you turn them off? <laughs> Where, where's your baby sister? Yeah, there she is. Yeah, we have to be so soft with her. She's just a baby. Okay, no, 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 none of that. 
So what's the mission besides me trying to get this laundry squared away while you're gone? Getting a bassinet that I am not sure what your picture is. <laughs> I want a Moses basket. This, this is her plan, I think. I haven't really confirmed it with her, but this is, it seems to be what she's wanting to do. So uh, just like a basket with a stand, as simple as possible. So I will insert a picture of what I'm picturing and insert there's a picture there's of, a robot in your room. of like just a Moses basket. And then I think they have like a stand that you can put them on. But currently there's we're putting Eloise like on the couch to like when we set her down to do stuff and in a safe way where she's not gonna roll off the couch. But it is at a level that the twins can, it just can happen really fast. They can run up and smack her in the head or you just never know. They're just, they're quick and they don't really understand yet. I mean, they, they are very gentle with her when we're standing there saying, be soft, be soft. But I don't know, it's, it's a little nerve wracking having her on a level where they could get to her. So a bassinet would be ideal. And we had like the rock and play for those two when they were babies, but obviously those have been recalled. It's funny like what all you realize you need when you get home with a new baby. Like I have a boba wrap that I used all the time with them. It's like just one of those stretchy, fabric-y wraps that you can carry a newborn in. And I can't, we can't find it anywhere. And it, I loved it. And like, I didn't need to buy another one because we had one and I can't find it. It's so frustrating. So I ended up ordering one on Amazon, exactly like the one I have, just in a different color. But there's just really no sense. We'll never need two of them. So if we come across it, hopefully we come across it in a timely manner and then I can just return the one I got on Amazon. Um, but we also got like a rocking chair for our bedroom because when I'm nursing her in the middle of the night, it's, I just don't like doing that sitting in the bed. For one, it's kind of awkward and uncomfortable to sit hunched over in a bed and nurse. And for two, I just feel like I'm much less likely to fall asleep if I physically get up and sit in a chair. So Brad put that together and it worked really well last night. It's just really crammed by the side of the bed where we have it. So we might need to move it tonight. But it's been working great. And then what else have we bought like last minute? Oh, another one of those little nightlight things that we use. I'll I'll do a like baby products that I love video. That's gonna be on it for sure. It's just this nightlight that you double tap the top and it dims. So it's just really faint light, just enough to like be able to change their diaper or like help her latch if I need to. So I want a second one of those, one to have by the changing table and one to have by where I end up nursing her. And there was some other things that I bought last minute. I was on Amazon shopping last night while in nursing sessions, which isn't probably dangerous. I should look at what I ordered. No pictures. No. no pictures. No cameras, please. <laughs> it's amazing how those little bumps appear mm -hmm. and then like suddenly disappear. With the, like on her nose? No, like those little red spots that come Oh up. yeah, like the blemishes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they disappear in like 10 minutes. Look at her little gums. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh, okay. That looks really comfy. Doing a little sunbathing. I can't remember if I vlogged this yesterday. She's just a little bit jaundiced. Not enough that they're worried at all, but the most effective thing is old fashioned sunlight. Right, Eloise? And just through a window like this, they won't get sunburnt. It just has all the benefits of getting vitamin D to help break down the bilirubin. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. And apparently this type of sunlight, one hour is equivalent to six hours in a hospital incubator. Not that you need to let them lay here for an hour, really it says like 20 to 30 minutes twice a day. I guess that adds up to an hour, but 
We'll just do what we can when we can. It's just nice having this like perfect spot here to do this. And then I taped up. <laughs> My mom got us for, was it for Christmas last year? The microbrew yes. variety pack. So we get it quarterly and it's just uh, like four different micro brews from different breweries in the US. Uh, so I have, I have that taped up on the window to be her little face shield. Works pretty, pretty well. And she likes her sunbathing time. <laughs> Hold on tight, Bear. You're staying on. Stay there. We gotta take your sleep sack off. Alright. We gotta take your sleep sack off. <laughs> this is hilarious. Bear, hold on really tight. Hold on really tight, buddy. I'm serious. It's making me really nervous. Giddy thinks this is hilarious and she wants to ride next if that's okay. Whoa! 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 Yep. <laughs> Our giraffe is tired. Oh man. Limbo, how was your nap? Did you? Whoa! Come here. Oh. Come here. Is that a hiccup? <laughs> Getting your workout? Yep. Definitely these guys' favorite thing in the whole wide world. What do you got? That's right. What do you got, Bear? That's right. Popsicles. It is 89 degrees out on October 1st. I do need a popsicle, don't I? I feel like we still live in South Carolina. Hot. Hot. They're really good moods. So we showed this the other day, but gosh, these kids just love vacuuming. They like literally are moving like the baby out of the way and the racquetball thing. Lindell, only the floor, honey. Only on the floor. <laughs> So we just wrapped up dinner. Iris, you're not Eloise. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little bit more hairy than Eloise. Um, mm -hmm. We got our baby holder over here, which is always a nice thing to have around. And she's, you said she's smiling at you and mm -hmm. g giggling yeah. and yeah. what was her first, she said her first word and <laughs> yeah. Grandpa. Oh, not bump, bump not bump, 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 bump. uh-huh. Uh oh. Oh. Gosh, she just doesn't look very comfortable, does she? <laughs> that was cute. Say hi. Hi, Eloise. <laughs> Gosh, looks like you guys have it under control. I think we'll head out to dinner. Well, they wanted me to get in. Uh huh. So why aren't you in there? So this is close enough. Uh-huh. Right there. Do you want mama to get in the bathtub? Hi! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 